From October Gallery in Philadelphia, this is ATN Art TV Network. Hello, Dr. Biggers and Dr. Uh, Lewis. I'm Evelyn Redcross from October Gallery. I've talked to both of you on the telephone. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you, but I have a question. I wanted to talk about uh, the traveling that you've done. I know that um, each of you has traveled over the world. I know that uh, Dr. Lewis has done extensive travel, and probably Dr. Briggs as well. I just don't know as well about your traveling. But the question has to do with how you see work, artwork, from the indigenous peoples of the world. And if you see any relationship between the work that is being done there as it relates to the work being created by African Americans today, um, and how you think um, what, you're learn what you've learned from your travels um, affects the thinking or, 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 or how important it is and where it fits into what we're doing today. Oh. If I understand, I'm not sure I do. Uh. Uh, it seems that you want to know my reaction to almost world art. Yes, but and particularly... How relates, <laughs> and how it relates to the work being created by African American artists. The work that you've seen done by African American artists. Contemporary well, there are relationships, and in some instances there are no. Yes. Uh, I was. I would particularly start with Africa and the reactions. You see, when the Africans in 1600 uh, did a piece that we call breaking bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. We know that there has been a relationship that is timeless. Yes. And uh, I don't know whether I can speak to many other people or not. I probably know a Mexican art next best, and uh, but I think uh, what is unique there, you will find unique in African art, Afro American art, where the spirit, where the spirit has not been interrupted. You see, uh, we have a disadvantage because our spirit of soul has been interrupted. We are an amputated people. You see, so the question is logical, becomes illogical for a person who's truly involved in his own struggle. as we were from the beginning, from our beginning, and I began art in the 30s and 40s. And what we had to do, we had to relate to the souls of our ancestors. 